Hi guys, it's Spragzy and welcome to another Minecraft video. In today's video, we're going to be finally finishing off the burger shop and I've decided to start over here today. Rather than start on top of the hotel, I thought, you know what, we'll skip that. We'll start right here at the burger shop. And I've also, look, I've actually prepared the inventory a bit today. So hopefully this will go quite well. So the problem we had, well not really a problem, but after finishing the last video, I decided there's one thing and that is there's not enough colour in my uh, burger shop. And like at the minute, I mean I like it, don't get me wrong, we've got the nice tables and all that, but it just doesn't seem there's enough colour. So that is today's uh, thing. We're going to uh, brighten it all up and obviously upstairs in the party area, I'm going to uh, make a few changes up there as well. Because I want to make, like the kids section is just kind of, just a cut off kids section. There's nothing special about it. So I want to make it look a little bit more party like I guess is the uh, way to put it. But yeah, so what I'm thinking, these little doorways I'm going to do like red and yellow entrances now this won't serve any real particular purpose other than just again just to uh, brighten the place up a bit make it all look a little bit more interesting and of course i need to light the place up a bit more because at the minute we've got random torches scattered around but uh, i don't like it like that when it's look i mean i don't mind them being on the walls and stuff but i just want them to look actually like we're decorating the place and they're not just stuck in the wall somewhere so yeah so we need to do that so it is literally just filling in the uh, the details, I guess is the way to put it, because it just looks really bland at the middle. I really want it to uh, look really cool on the inside, because I really do like the look of the outside. Every time I glance over at the shop, uh, the restaurant, or I say it's a restaurant, I upgraded it from a shop to a restaurant. I, um, yeah, I do like the look of it. I think it looks really neat. And I am leaving these corners here. That is because we're going to do the old uh, uh, flower pots, like I do with the glowstone and the, uh, whoops, the glowstone and the uh, trap doors around them and, the plant pots on top. Oh, actually, I just realised I've actually got... I remembered my shears. And uh, I know what happens. Often I remember my shears, but I still forget to use them. But uh, there we go. And then that can go there. And I have also, because again, the countertops look a bit bare as well. So we're going to do... I'm going to do opposite. So the yellow side can have red countertops like that. And then the red side will have... Oops, excuse me, torch. You're not needed there. And then, yeah, I think that'll look a little bit more. Just to break it up a little bit so it's not all just like half and half. There we go. Whoop, that one needs to go in there. There we go. That is looking pretty cool. So let me move the carpet for a minute. Oh, actually, while I'm thinking about it, if we go glowstone like that, I want to put something up here because it looks really plain. And what this does, it gives me an opportunity. Will you get down? We've, we've spoke about this golem. They like standing up there for some reason. They should hopefully stop doing it though once I put the ceiling because they won't have any room. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the four glowstone in like that. And then will you get down? You're supposed to like... You're supposed to set an example. You work here and like you guys are just climbing around on top of the cookers. But yeah, no. So this ain't going to be any particular pattern. Just something. And obviously we're sticking with our red and yellow theme again. Because this is just the way we are at McBurgers. Uh, excuse me. Out the way. I really regret putting you guys in. I wish I'd done you last. But oh well. You're done now. There we go. Right. So that's just kind of given it a little bit more. What's happened here? We've got a random floating carpet piece. You get out. So yeah, oh, we need to do up there as well, actually. That reminds me, we need to do that. And also that reminds me. See, I've been doing a lot of thinking since the last video. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of thinking. So what I've got here is paintings, item frames, and I've got some chicken and some steak. And what I was thinking, we could take out a couple of these item frames, uh, a couple of these paintings, and just put in... Why do paintings do that? Why can't paintings just fall on the floor? floor? Why do they have to disappear? Anyway, so we got five uh, item frames. So that's one, two, let's just have another one on there. And obviously, I'm going to keep the paintings up there as well. I just want to uh, mix it up a little bit and put some item frames in with some actual food. I thought that would be kind of cool. And obviously, probably should have made them all different types of things. But, eh, we've done it now, so it's fine. All right, there we go. So, right, so let's put an item frame up there. And let's put one in there. And put one in there, put one in there. And there should be a spare gap round here. Yes, there is. Lovely. And then if we just use these steaks and chicken, so let's just put a steak in there. And like I said, I probably should have done all of them food, but nah, I kind of like the paintings up there. It adds a bit of a, a bit of variety. Uh, so let's put a chicken in there, and then we'll put another steak in there. There we go. Right. That is that done. I might as well keep that food on me because I might as well just eat it when I get hungry. Right, so let's have a look. So yeah, this is looking pretty cool. I like the look of this. So let me go and do the... Uh, so we need glowstone, grass, and them. And what I'll do is, obviously, anyone familiar with my videos know we do this a lot in my world, just to uh, 
it lights things up and obviously just makes it all look a little nicer. So there we go. Maybe not a bit weird hanging out the corner, but it kind of it separates the sections. So we've got the red section around here, then we've got the yellow section around here. Yeah, ooh, oh, I hate wasting glowstone. Uh, yeah, so it just kind of um, makes it look a little bit more interesting. So I just realised I did make up like half a load of uh, glowstone. Oops, I forgot to put the leaf block on top. But uh, I made up a half a load of uh, the trap doors, but I just realised this little section here alone is pretty much going to use up most of that. So we have to nip outside and make some more up. Uh, let's do this last one for this. And there we go. There we go. I like that. I like that a lot. I don't, I don't like these things. Look, at, I don't like these uh, furnaces. Let's, uh, let's use... What's in the middle there? Red. Let's use yellow. Let's put some yellow wool on top of here. If we can uh, carefully... I hate doing this. It's like you have to be really precise about doing it. There we go. That looks a little better. A little island in the middle. So it. I like that. So let me uh, go and make up some more trap doors because I'm not going to have nearly enough. Uh, where is my oak wood? Oh, I've got my oak wood on me. Look at that. I, uh, I kept hold of it. Let's make up a load of them and make up a load of more trap doors. That should do us. Well, it's not going to do us, but we uh, should do us just for this little section that we need. Right. So where's my glowstone? There's my glowstone. So the last thing I want to do down there's not really a lot more I actually want to do down here. I'm, I'm generally happy with, with it down here. It is just the upstairs party area that I really want to... Uh, I guess, it's, I guess it's the, the birthday area. Like, it's where you're going to have your birthday party. So, party area, birthday area, something along those lines. Now, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the glowstone in first. And then I'll come back around and uh, put all the trap doors and stuff on. I think that'll be the... Uh, oh, oh, another wasted glowstone. I think that'll be the easiest option. There we go. Right, is that all the way around? Yes, it is. So, let's just put the trap doors in. And there we go. I don't know why I keep... Oh, I flap that one open again. There we go. Let's do the leaf blocks. It's so a bit of a tight squeeze around here, it must be, but then it is only a small restaurant. I mean, it's only got like two tables either side, but uh, yeah, it looks fine. See, I would like to put these two in the corner together, but the problem is the trap doors won't work for them because the trap doors can't share the same block. So unfortunately, they're going to have to uh, have little gaps in these corners here, but that's fine. It doesn't really make a huge difference. Oh, actually, these torches need to go because that's one thing I did say I wanted to do was uh, organise the torches a little better. So let's just put, oh, flapping it down again. And there we go. Are we done down here? Yes, I believe the downstairs is done. Let me just sort the torches out. We'll just have a... We'll go boring. We'll just put... Let's put the torches in the middles. Actually, it's... Mm, no, I can't put torches there, can I? All right, let's put torches in these corners up here. Like that. Uh, actually, no, I'll leave that torch there, didn't I? I put, did put one there. That's fine. That can go there. You out. Uh, torches above there. And torches there. And... Oh, wrong one. And there. And then... Put them back in these corners again like that. There we go. Are we completely done? I think we are good. Downstairs is now 100% completely done. Minus doors. I will put doors on, but just uh, not yet. Right, let's go make up some more trap doors because I'm going to need uh, a few more of them. How much wood have I got? I've still got a fair bit of wood, so it shouldn't be a major problem. There we go. Another 14. Now, there is a workbench still upstairs from the last video, so uh, that's not a problem. Let's move the shears for a minute. Uh, yeah, right, let's go upstairs. I can hear growling. Why can I hear growling? Must be a hollow area. Oh, is it down there? No, it must be a hollow area underneath me somewhere. You be careful, pork chop. Right, yeah, I really like this. I think this looks really cool. That's kind of annoying, though, that I can't cover that up, but never mind. Right, anyway, upstairs. So, yeah, the problem I have with upstairs is it all just looks a bit plain. So, what I want to do is I want to at least make the middle bit a lot more party like. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these little one's going up here and this is to kind of just i'll move that in a minute this is just to kind of separate it so it is actually like a different area like a little party area and then what we will do is let's do should we have it on both sides yes yeah, just go on both sides i'm going to absolutely uh run out of wood at this rate but that's fine and there we go that can go there and because it's very dark up here actually well oh, that doesn't go there glowstone is supposed to go there and oh Flappy, flappy. I might as well just turn all this wood into trapdoors. At least then I know what I've got left. So that'll go there like that. Right, so my first problem was... thought I heard something. Is the, uh, these seats, right? These seats need to be different because it's supposed to be like a party area. So I think like to make it look like a party area, we should have different seats in here so they're not just the same as all the other seats in the restaurant. So I, uh, I thought what was the best idea for this. I went with the... I can't, I don't know how you pronounce it. I went with these two jungle woods and the other one. And I thought, because they're kind of 
blend in with the orange red kind of thing that we've got going on here. So I thought they'll look, look pretty good. So let's just put these two in like that. Let's swap to the orange one. That's what I'm going to call it because I don't try and pronounce the name of it. Uh, who was it? Somebody did say it to me. Maybe it was John. Somebody didn't pronounce it to me the other day, but I've just completely forgot how it sounds. Right, there we go. So that's looking a bit more interesting. Now, so obviously the other thing is the floor is just boring sandstone again. So what we're going to do is, I'm sure I'm hearing things. I'm going mad. Right, let's knock that out. You don't need to be there. Right, so let's knock the floor out. And uh, we'll go and put a red and a yellow floor in again, just to make it look a bit more fun. So let's uh, take those two out. And obviously you want to do under the tables as well. So, oh, oh, don't want to take that one out. But never mind, no one's going to see that. And yes, they are. It's, it's going to bug me. OCD won't allow me to leave that there. Even though no one's going to see it, I have to fill it in. There we go, right. So let's go back to the red and yellow wall. And it doesn't really matter which way around we do this. So let's just go like this. Oh, hang on. Before I fill that in, I might want to uh, do that and do that. And can I reach that? There we go. Right, is that halfway point? No, one more should be the halfway point. And like that, let's do these two middle bits before I forget, like so. And there we go. Now that is looking a lot more colourful. Now, obviously, the one thing you do have... Actually, I need those two. Put them away. I need them. The one thing you do have at pies is, obviously, balloons. Now, obviously, Minecraft, you can't really get a balloon. So what I'm thinking, if we do a fence post, we have a little block on top of it, like that. There we go. It's looking a bit more balloon. I think you have to get some more light in here. It's not very light. Uh... Where's that blue? I don't want to end up putting it in the sort of same place. That's fine. I can go there. And that can go there like that. And what we will do, we will put one balloon on the ceiling because there's always that one person that has to let go of their helium balloon and it floats off to the ceiling. So there we go. We'll put one up there. Let me just put some torches on these pillars because it's still looking a bit dingy up here, I must admit. It might be right. So I've still got to put some more pots in here yet. So it might, be, uh, it might light up a little bit more. But for now, we shall do that. Right, let's move all this out of the way again. I want my leaf blocks back. And I want my two trapdoors. Right, let me go and make up some more... Oh, I was going to jump over there. There's a, a balloon in the way. So let me go and uh, make up the rest of these trapdoors. I just turned all of this into trapdoors because I'm going to be using a different wood for the actual main doors. Okay, so we just fill all these in and put our plant pots on top. And they go like that. See, that's a shandy quang now. We're only using two there, so that kind of works out pretty well. Let's go and do the same in this corner, like so. There we go. And more plant pots. Right. Still a little bit dark, but there's not really anywhere else I can put more light. That's the only problem. What I might do is, is put these torches going all the way around. So at least it might light it up a little bit better. I don't really know what else to do to light up. I don't want to put ceiling. I don't want to put like windows in because obviously it would ruin the fun of it being a big burger. Maybe. No, so there's nowhere else. I can't really put a ones in here because that's going to block off the seats. Obviously in this imaginary world. Right, let me take this workbench out now because uh, we can put the quartz block in there. Come on, workbench. There we go. And where's the quartz block? There it is. And done. Right. How else can I light this up? See, that's not even a central point, is it? I mean, I could maybe do that, and then let's put some plant pots in there, and do, whoops, do that. Um, yeah, that kind of works, actually. That's actually litting it up. Litting it up? That's lighting it up? Yeah, that's the one. A little bit more. Let's uh, put them on, and put them on, put them on, and put them on. There we go. Right. That is looking rather cool. I like that. That looks a lot better. It actually looks like more of a party area. Like, it looks separate from the rest of it all. Like, this is the restaurant. This is the annoying kids' party area. So you're sitting over here, having a nice, quiet meal. You're on a date, and then you've got loads of kids over there screaming and shouting. But that's the fun. That's what you get at McBurgers. That's just... Oh, hang on. There we go. Right, I am pretty happy with that. I like that. What I will do is, is just put a bit more light down. So let's just put... Some torches on these fence posts. And I'm actually running out of torches. I knew I should have grabbed more, but never mind. Uh, let's just go and do this last bit here. I don't think there's actually too much more to do. We have got to do the outside because the uh, the path is a bit messed up at the minute. So we do need to do that. But other than that, I think that looks pretty cool. We've got a nice little party area. And I think it's all looking rather good. So with that done, let's go and uh, nip outside. Oh, this is looking really cool. I really like this. I mean, it's always good that I do like it, because if you didn't like your own build, there's a bit of a problem. Oh, and it's nighttime. I completely forgot about the time of day, because obviously 
being indoors, I kind of didn't notice. I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep. Oh, I'm surprised. I can hear something growling. I'm surprised it's actually uh, let me go to sleep. I'm surprised I didn't say there's too many uh, mobs nearby. And let's just do a quick check of the area because oh, there's a zombie over there burning up, but that's fine. We don't need to worry about that. Whoops, where are you going, Bo? Right, let's empty out my pockets a bit because we need to make room for some newer materials. And those new materials... Oh, I need to make some doors up, actually. So let's go and do that before I forget that. And I'm looking for birch wood. And let's turn that into planks and let's make a load of birch. So what do I need? I need two... I need eight doors. And typically these make up in blocks of three. That's just typical. So there we go. I went with the birch doors because it's the lightest material I could find that I thought would blend in quite well. And uh, not ruin the look of the burger shop too much. So let's put those on there. Now this is the side we're going to have to do a bit of work on because if we come around here... We have a bit of a problem. That is obviously our next job. So, as you know, in my world, we've got this nice little uh, dark and light path going on. So we need to build that a little bit better around here. So I should have... Have I forgot the woods? No, that's the spruce and... Oh, it's the, it's the birch wood, isn't it? I've, uh, where's the birch wood gone? There's the rest of the birch wood. Did I turn it all into planks? Yeah, I must have done. Never mind. It's not a problem. We don't really need to worry about it too much. We actually need to do a bit of a, a bit of not really digging, but a bit of work, a bit of landscaping. Not something I often do in my videos, but that is what we are going to do. So let's uh, knock all of this through and make a path so we can actually get in through the side door over here. And what I did mention in the last video was about us coming in through this way, like connecting it to the racetrack over here. And I thought this would look pretty cool because then you can watch the race. And then we can come down this way. So, we want to knock this through down here. And I guess I'm going to have to bring the sides of the stands down. So, I'm just going to look a bit weird having a big mud wall there. And that's what I need. I need some spruce. No, I don't want spruce, actually. I need the light wood, don't I? I need the birch wood. Yeah, there'll be some birch stairs I want to put in. So, let me go and make up some birch stairs. Let's go and have a look. I can still hear that. I think there's a zombie growling around. I'm not entirely sure. Right, let me just quickly check to make sure I'm not being blinded. I definitely did make it all up. That's sandstone. Yeah, that's fine. Right. So, that's going to waste a lot of the birch. I don't really want to waste, but never mind. There's not a lot we can really do about it. So, how wide are my paths? They're four wide. So, let's uh, clear the spade for a minute. Let's go and make up some spruce wood. Where are you? There we go. Right, so how's this going to work? So if I put a... Oh, that's in the wrong place. So my paths are four. I said, I promise if I do this four wide, it's going to bring the path all the way out to here, which means I'm going to have to do a bit of work. But yeah, fine, we'll do that. We will do that. So that's three and four. Because, I mean, that's how the paths are in my world, and that's how we should uh, have them. So let's do that. And then where are my stairs? There's my stairs. We will bring the stairs down like that. We need to uh, knock these two out and replace them with da, 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 da. there must I'm actually thinking I might bring it over one more and just have it as a free so I'll have the two yeah sure instead of talking about it I'm gonna do it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them here and then I'm gonna take out this one and this one oh let's take out that as well while I'm thinking about it and there we go that can go there right if I got my fence pieces on me so I can repair the uh, the damage that I've made that goes there I'm a little hungry let's just stop and uh, have something sweet. I said I was going to eat that, um, the extra chicken and steak, but there we go. It didn't quite pan out like that. So yeah, so let's go and grab my spade again. And if I, nope, I thought I put my spade away in the uh, box, but it's fine. And let's put that along there like that. And let's just knock all this out. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get some oak wood and just fill that in. So that's going to look a little bit silly, I think. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's not supposed to go. That's meant to be a bit, I thought that was a bit of mud, but never mind. Right, so this will come all the way across here. I'll bring as far as I can until I run out. There we go. I have now ran out. And so let's see. So if I do that, there you go over there. And I need to knock out these little few here. And bring it all the way across to here. And to here, I think. No, but I want to make this four as well. So if I can do this without knocking every breaking everything, there we go. And let me go and get my axe quickly. There we go. So I can go like that. And then what we will do here is we'll have it step down again. Now, I know I've not got the uh, any more spruce. I've never got any more spruce. I mean, no, I have. Oh, yeah, hang on. What do I've got like 19 of them on me. There we go. Right. Oh, that doesn't go there. Let me just take that one out like so. so yeah, so that comes out of there. So what we'll do is we will knock this one out as well. Coming around the front. 
like so. Let's just take it to there for now. And then we can have this come through here like this. This will connect nicely onto the stairs like so. And then, of course, we can have the spruce planks carry on the rest of the way. And obviously, this will connect all the way round to the front of the shop. Yeah, this has actually worked out quite well. So there we go. That'll go like that. Might have to do something here. I don't like all this mud. I suppose I'm going to have to knock this mud down. Actually, yeah, while I think about it, I might as well knock this down. Because this might as well go all the way around. And then the whole burger shop can be connected by one big path going all the way around it. Like so. But what I do is I won't bother doing that in the video because you guys see how it's done. There's no point in me uh, carrying this on seeing what I'm going to do. What I'll do is in the next video, I will quickly uh, run over here and I'll just show you guys the final touches. But I will just bring the path all the way around. And just put some torches up above these doors because we don't have anything to uh, stop any mobs from spawning at night time. But there we go, guys. The uh, the final details have been finished. And I think this looks absolutely amazing. All this new colour really brings the place out. And I'm really liking it. I really do like the birthday party area. I think it looks awesome. But anyway, guys, I will leave the video there. As always, if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. It really helps me out. And I will see you all in the next video. Doodles.